Hello. A lot of people think that when they reach their goal size with stretching that that's like the end of the road and that their ears don't need any more love and care. And I'm here to tell you that that is not true. Uh, one of the most important things that you can do for your ears is wear jewellery with a big wearable area. For example, this is a double flared plug with a big wearable area. And this is a double flared plug with a small wearable area. And these will mess up your your ears. So if you wear a plug with small a, a small wearable area, I'll demonstrate this for you now. Your ear kind of is too big for it, and it sort of sits over it like that. And often, if you've got a slight amount of blowout, which I do have, it can just make your situation worse and worse. So it's really important to wear jewellery with big, wide wearable areas that your whole ear can fit on. Another important thing to do is massage with oil. So I use argan oil on my ears, which is not really meant for ears, but I quite like to use it. It smells good. It smells like chocolate. Just put a bit on your fingers and just give your ears a rub. Like that. Helps to increase blood flow, keeps them nice and warm. It's really important to do, especially around this time of year. Another good thing you can do for your ears is in the winter, don't wear metal plugs, wear plastic or something that doesn't hold cold as much. For example, these. These are good because they're plastic, they've got wide wearable areas, and that means that my ears got lots of room to move around. One of the reasons my ears got so bad at one point was because I was wearing plugs with teeny wearable areas, and my ears would just slide off, and I'd end up with like a big fold. Like, it was like my blowout, but it had been made worse from this massive fault. So, one of the most important things is to not wear plugs that you know aren't really the right shape for your ears. For example, these are a pair of my absolute favourite tunnels to wear in the whole world, but I can't wear them very often because the way that they're designed with this harsh line, even though my ear fits in this gap, sometimes my ear kind of starts to overlap and it hurts a bit and I can feel that I'm going to give myself a worse blowout even though literally I'm just wearing plugs and I haven't done anything to my ears I, you can still blow your ears out another really important thing to do is if you can sleep without jewellery in a lot of people can't do this because when they take out their plugs their ears begin to close immediately and this is the same case for me so I can have no plugs in for about a few hours and then my ears start to shrink and that sucks really badly. So, but if you can wear jewellery that, uh, wear no jewellery when you sleep, then that's a really good thing to do. Another thing is if you know it's gonna be cold outside, wear a hat with flaps or wear earmuffs or anything that's gonna keep your ears close to your skin. If you know you're going somewhere really cold, for example, like a day out shopping and you know it's gonna be freezing, a good thing you can do is wear no plugs and just let your ears stay close to your skin and it keeps warm. Um, I think that's everything really to do with keeping your ears healthy. I would say another important thing actually I've forgotten is a lot of times people complain about a smell and um, I have had it a couple of times normally when I've worn my plugs for too long and I've not cleaned them but what I do every night is just pop out my tunnels, put them in my hand, get a bit of soap, give them a wash, um, rinse them off, dry them and put them back in and it's just hygiene. You wouldn't leave you wouldn't not wash your body for a few days, you know, um, it's the same kind of thing. Parts of your um, ear, your ears can start to produce, uh, I think it's dead skin cells, and if they collect up, they make a manky smell, and nobody wants that. So, yes, I hope you're all having wonderful lives, and I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, put them down below, and I will see you later. Bye!